Alright, this is how to get VNC on your iPod Touch. First, you're going to need to go to the link I provided in the description. <clears throat> uh, once you go to that, a download should pop up automatically. You just, if it doesn't, then click the direct link. It should pop up like that. I've already got it, so I'm just going to hit can cancel. Once you've downloaded it, you can. it should look like this. Launch, launch v, tight VNC server. Or you can just type it in tight VNC. And it should come up like that. Alright, you gotta open it, set it up, and then it'll look like that. Alright, so it looks like this. You're gonna need to create a password. Do, don't uncheck any of this. If you want the desktop background on your iPod, then you can uncheck this part. Otherwise, leave it checked. That should be automatic. Don't click that. Just change that to your password. Change that to the same password. And don't click anything else. And once you're done with all that, press OK. And then we need to go to the... Well, first you're going to need to know this. Type VNC server. It'll say 172. Well, it'll say yours. You need to know that because that's your IP address. It's going to say... The numbers mine is 172, 16, 1, and 33. Um, once you got that, you just write down that IP address. Hold on one second. Okay, now that you've done that, you're going to need to oh, uh, turn on your iPod, go to the App Store. In the search bar, you're going to want to type in VNC. And you're going to want to search for the light one. It should probably be the top one. As you can see, mine is already installed. So, I'll show you how to do it. Let's go over to it. And there it is right there. It's a little computer icon. <coughs> Alright. Now, everything should look like this. Hold on one second. You're going to want to type in your, first you're going to want to type in your server IP address, the one that I told you that you should have gotten written down. You're going to want to type in, or it should already have it, 5900, that automatic thing. The password that you typed in on there, you should ha type in right here, where it says VNC password. You should put the name that you want the um the connection to be named it if you have a pc turn switch on this thing that says mac os x server if you have a pc make sure it's off if you have a mac make sure it's on save passwords make sure that's on and 32 bit color mode you should make that so it's a good screen thing all right now that you've done that just press connect hold on one second I have to put something on my computer and one second I have to allow this I have zone alarm it's something all right now I have all my icons on my computer. I've got Mozilla Firefox, the VNC server, and as you can see, my computer is just like that. So if I tap right here by the clip 008 that I have, it'll go right there. And yeah, I'm pretty much doing that. I can open start. Yeah, well, it's not working right now. It's a pretty good program though. It's got Internet Explorer. And yeah, it's got a whole bunch of crap on it. So that's pretty much it. And once you want to get out of it, you just go back to your iPod screen. And there you go. That's how you get the VNC server light on your iPod Touch. Thank you for watching.